Hello Syntax students, in this video we will go over installation of Git on our Windows machine. Okay, so let's navigate to our browser. And we're just going to search for Git installation on Windows. So I'll type download Git for Windows, hit enter. So from here, we can just select right away Git for Windows. All right, once you are on this page, let's click on download. All right, our download will start. All right, once download is completed, let's click on open. All right, once we click on open, I'm not sure if you guys will be able to see this window, but there should be some pop-up showing. If we want to allow this app to make changes on our device, please go ahead and select yes. Okay, meanwhile, I'm going to close my browser. So from here, we will be just selecting all default options. Just click on next. This is the location where our kit will be installed. Let's just click on next. From here, what I would like to select, I want to select the option to create the icon on my desktop. Let's click in here. Click on next. Click on next again. All right. So from here, we don't need to change any default settings. We'll click on next. The same thing in here, we will be selecting our recommended option. Click next. From here, we're also going to click next. And we're just going to continue clicking next. Next. We're all selecting our default settings. Click on next. And right now, let's click on install. All right, once installation is completed, we can go ahead and launch our Git Bash from this option. I don't want to see any release notes, and I can just click on Launch Git Bash and click on Next. All right, so our Git Bash window will show up. For me, there's some additional message displaying in here. Displayed in here, please guys ignore it. But if your windows opens up, and if you're in here, what you can type, I'm just going to type Git space hyphen hyphen version all right and click on enter go oh, so now it tells me that which version of git i installed if this is shows it means you successfully download git thank you for watching guys and we'll see you in our next tutorial right once my git bash start opening please ignore these messages guys right so if you would like to check what version of Git we installed, let's just type git space hyphen hyphen version and just hit on enter. Okay, so if you see in this message with the Git version, it means you successfully installed Git on your Windows machine. Thank you for watching guys and we'll see you in our next tutorial.